Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV inside Anfield. Liverpool through to the semi-finals of the League Cup after being Leicester on penalties. I've got check. Liverpool, it was 3-3. And then we, we, we it, 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 sudden death, it was, it was, it was hard stopping. That was one of the best, most entertaining laughs I've had at a football match in a very, very long time. I was here when we beat Barcelona, when we beat Dortmund. I've seen some of the biggest wins in, you know, in Liverpool history that have happened in the last decade or so in this seat. And I... I loved that game of football, loved it. Um, the team we put out was too weak to do the job, really, really. Um, but I thought it'd give a decent account of itself. It was actually some of the senior players who got on the night weren't, weren't great. Like Gomez wasn't great, and Taki Birabino, you know, hero, villain to hero to villain, sort of. And you know, um, some of the kids just not quite ready. Cometio, clearly not quite ready for this level. Connor Bradley put in a good shift, but yeah, you know, Nico Williams playing right wing. It was going to be a big ask to beat Leicester with that side, but anyone else get proper stoke away vibes? Was it 16 17 when we started with Burn and Trent and we bring on Bobby? Did we bring Bobby and Coutinho on and Bobby scores that stellar sort of volley from, um, from deep? It had a bit of that, like we had 45 minutes to take a run at it. Oh my God, the atmosphere in this ground was electric. It was okay in the first half. I was having a good old sing song. There was that period where we got the goal back. And it was good, and you know, and, and you thought, okay, we might be able to do something here. When we got Bobby on the ball, we got auction around the box, we, we were good. Um, <laughs> uh, Ryan, you know, poet, I know it. Um, I'm just buzzing. I am absolutely buzzing. I'm buzzing for Taki Minamino to get that moment to, to score the equaliser because it was just, it was a hard old slog for him today. Diogo Jota might be the most clinical centre forward on planet Earth right now. Naby Keita was sensational when he came up. He was having fun. It was just. Fun, the whole night was fun. I've just thoroughly enjoyed myself, and it sounds mad because I'm sure we could have been stressing about it. Um, <laughs> uh, we could have been stressing about it, and you know, and, 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 and those times where yeah, it was hard work on the old ticker without a doubt. But I love that game of football, genuinely, genuinely. I love these, love these lads, love this football team. The second we brought on the substitute at half time, I knew we were going to win this. I just knew it because we were able to give them a bloody nose with a, a bunch of kids on the pitch. And it's one of them that if we'd added, you know, if we'd not been so sloppy in that first half, it might have been tighter, and we might have needed to chase quite so much. Um, but this has ended up being one of the all-time famous Anfield nights, um, and I'm an absolute honour to be. And I'll be honest, I thought with all with COVID and, and you know, and all the stuff kind of leading up to Christmas, <laughs> I, um, I did. I, you know, I, I gave it a second thought. I did honestly, but uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I, I came tonight. What a game! What an occasion! What a performance! And Quiven Kelleher, let's have a massive shout out for him because you know he has a, he has a, a, a tricky time. Look, Jamie Vardy is just unbelievable in front of goal. Very little he can do in the first half. Being the penalty saving hero, he deserves it. Absolutely brilliant, and just yeah, I'm so immensely proud of these boys through to the semi finals. What um just great and can I say give us all the players. I'm gonna talk about all the players tomorrow on the final word show. Uh, the lads will be doing instant match reaction tonight, about 20, 25 minutes on Redmond Plus. I'll be hosting the final words. Is there anything you want me to discuss? Any player in particular? Because I can do chapter and verse on how Ibrahim Kanata is better than everything Leicester have got in attack. Uh, Madison's a massive gobshite by the way, and it, losing that game couldn't happen to a bigger prick. And it, that's one of the reasons why I'm dead happy as well. It was just great. It was fantastic. If you're buzzing, drop a like on the video. If you want more from me, more Liverpool, amazing Liverpool content, please do try out Redmen Plus over on redmentv.com. It's our streaming service at Netflix for Reds. We've got a two-part special, Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Day, and in fact, with Boxing Day for the follow-up. We've got the 50 greatest Liverpool players of the Premier League era. It's amazing. Uh, and then we've got the debate show reaction to it going out on Boxing Day. So loads to keep you entertained. Uh, leads to come. Just, oh, I love this football club. We're going to win everything this season. Absolutely everything, all the best.